Insecure Season 2. Season finale. It gave me everything. But let me first by saying, I wanted to review it, but I never, I don't know, I was just being lazy. But I'm going to try to sum it all up. But this finale, I wasn't really sure what to expect from it. But I was upset, but then I was happy too, or whatever. But let me first, let me first say this. Insecure is a shit. It's the blackest show on TV. I love the directing, the writing, I love the fashions, I love the music, um, I love the skin tones, I like the male booty, I love the scenery, I love everything about this show. Sometimes the little um LA stuff I don't really get because I'm from New York, so you know how that is. But um <sighs> I don't know what to say. I was upset, but I was happy or whatever, because we're going to get season three. I was happy it was 45 minutes, but okay, let's get into it. I thought it was good. It's not really what I was hoping or wishing for, but it is, uh, it was good. And I like how they did it. I really like how they did it. This is the thing. So they did like 30 days of the main character. But like 30 day of Lawrence. I really don't care because he's still confused. He don't know what the hell he want to do. Him and Aparna. Aparna. Aparta. A, not Aparta. I think so. Aparna is together. Some type of relationship. He's Lawrence is feeling some type of way. Because he's still. he They work with. Her ex, and he's hella funny, and all this other stuff that's going on. Um, you see Issa at this, I guess, not 10 mile run that Kelly's supposed to be doing, and they're supporting her. Um, Tiffany Sadidias is um, pregnant. You would think she's six months pregnant already. She got a little freaking kangaroo pouch and acting like the world is ending. Um, they also had like 30 days on Molly. And that was really interesting because Molly has this guy that's Gerard's brother that I know from the Carmichael show. He's, I don't know, at my age, I'm not the same age as them. To me, if it's somebody that you're really feeling like that, he's he's cool, he's nice to talk to and everything, but she's not, I guess, how he looks, or his appearance or whatever. And I guess that's what society would say he's a, you know a good looking guy he's a little chubby shorter darker or whatever but really everything else he has going for him and I don't see nothing wrong with that you know I'll I'll try my hand or whatever (laughs) you know what I'm saying but that's not Molly's type or whatever but they were talking one late night or whatever and they were drinking some Hennessy and you know what that do to black people but and she was like you know let's put this Hennessy now let me see what this is about and she started kissing him and she rode his ass molly rode his ass on home i was like okay molly i was excited about that because i was like okay she moved on from joe joe told me he missed her and he been hitting up personally joe is not alejandro aka joe is not cute and he swear he's sexy with those lips and that cooly hair and he's not what it is i get it but he's not i, I mean if you gonna go if you're a choice between Dro, which is married, your married best friend, or Stubby, whatever his name is from the Carmichael show, I will go with homeboy from the Carmichael show. That's more realistic instead of Dro. You keep hurting your feelings with Dro. <sighs> and his stroke is all right. It's all right. It's like, it ain't no Lawrence stroke, but it's all right. So that's going on, Molly. 30 days, Issa. I guess Issa can't afford the $60 rent increase, so she's moving out and everything. She's going to move in with her fabulous brother or whatever the case. And it seemed like everything's falling apart for her. Her personal life, her professional life. Um, She fucked up at We Got Ya. She thought everything was good, but looked like she might get a lawsuit for Xing out the Latinos. So... I don't know what she's going to do about that. Her friend Rita, Drita, whatever her name is, got the promotion. And it's just... <laughs> Issa life is just falling a freaking apart. 
So her brother drives her by her old apartment to go do a walkthrough, drop the keys off, or whatever. And when she walk in, lo and behold, Mr. Left Stroke, um, Lawrence was there. And they had a conversation that was well, well needed because they actually get to speak to each other about how they were feeling at the time and what was going on or whatever. And it was long overdue. I was happy that they finally had that conversation or whatever but um when he's leaving like by east then he got on his knee and he was like will you marry me she's like yes I was like, oh. and then they start flashing forward to them fucking to her getting pregnant they moving it still in that fucking in the dunn's apartment and it's a fucking then she looked over the couch and it was just a fucking um daydream he's like bye ease peace deuces uh, i'm out of here and that was the end of that and that just left it like damn why y'all playing with me isa with the writing why y'all did that he could he could have said I, I i love you and i want to marry you y'all both said i love you to each other y'all talk now it's time for y'all to get back together what's up why you gonna leave me like this isa so with all that being said, they go cut back to Molly ass. She's getting her... Oh, oh, this is the best thing I loved about their friendship or whatever. They going through their issues. But they did like a little Indian... Oh, Molly did a little Indian thing for her and everything like that. And then, you know, Issa left that... She's been nice. Left that morning. And Issa on her way, taking her lift to go stay on Daniel's couch. Like, is she moving in? Is it a one night thing? Is it for a week? What's up? Because remember what happened on the couch? He shot that toothpaste in your eye on the on the couch. So now you have no problem going to stay on his couch? Mm. I don't know about that. And Molly getting all dolled up with her lingerie and stuff. And guess who at the door? Alejandro. He is not sexy. And I'm like, here we go, Molly. His stroke is all right. Like, what? And... I get it. I understand. Like, but he ain't cute like that. If I had a choice, I would take Stubby because it's more realistic. <laughs> but back up. She told she went and met with the black law firm and everything like that. And they it's pretty cool or whatever the case may be. Then the white law firm she already worked employed by is talking about, oh, we know we don't want to lose you, whatever. So we're gonna give you a certificate of a, of the year award or some bullshit. They gave you an A for F and Molly. They played you. You need to run your ass over to Chicago office and start your life there or go to the division in LA because they don't value you. Because if they valued you, you'd have been like, they would have had a check in that damn folder, not no damn gold star award like you in the first grade. Like, that was a mess. And it's so crazy that it seemed they're the best of friends and they're both fully hint like, you know, that these roadblocks in their life and it's just so interesting to see them go through it. It's completely different, but it's very similar at the same time. And I was annoyed with that, with the drove situation. And Lawrence is, he can't get past him and them, <laughs> the group of friends like usual talking him some, some bullshit and he got carried away with a partner and she not here for it and I'm glad they showed that like because some women like I don't got time for this if we're gonna do this we're gonna do this I ain't got nothing to do with the last bitch that's it and he realizing it's manifesting over the his situation with Issa it's manifesting to this new relationship or him moving forward so Maybe that talk is really what they needed to get off their chest. And maybe they'll be, both be able to move forward. I don't know what the fuck Issa doing moving forward with Daniel with his fine chocolate ass. But still, it's interesting. I just thought about it. All three of them are going through the same similar issue. They're different, but they're similar when it comes to personal and a professional life. They hit like a, a roadblock and it's hectic and crazy and it's just so 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 interested and i love it like i said the writing's good the directing good the visuals the fashion the skin tones the music oh my god i think i'm gonna actually purchase the soundtrack this season because it was so good but y'all need to give me more than 30 minutes come on hbo y'all got the money y'all got the coin 
Issa doing her thing. Larry Wilmore, y'all doing y'all thing. Come on for some more minutes. Give me like 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Come on now. But I love how they're able to pack everything into that 30 minutes. And it just leaves me screaming, wanting more. Can't wait until the next weekend until it comes. And it's only been seven episodes and it's gone. So I'm pissed about that. But the 45 minutes, I was upset and happy at the same time because... It was a lot of clarity, but I still believe episode six is the best episode of the se- season because once again, Issa and Lawrence came head to head by how they feeling. He called her a hoe and she said, with your non-job having ass, you know, they were going back and forth. It was very, very interesting. And um, Molly with this nigga again, fucked in the bathroom with Dro and telling her to stay a couple of feet behind this like, damn. Molly, give it up. Leave it alone. She finally spoke to her mom about why did she stay and all other stuff. And, you know, it's real. Insecure is so fearless and real. And I love it. I don't want to cry, but I'll be just like, so excited. And it's gone until next summer, I guess. But thank God it's coming back. That's all I got to say. But Issa Rae, Larry Wilmore, Raphael Sadiq, he is the musical director. His 55-year-old ass getting in with the music still. I don't know who's doing the fashions, which I love. But um, Insecure is great. The blackest show on TV. BT needs to have the Black Awards. We are meaning that is rates of the level of the blackness. And, um... Insecure will win every award because it's the blackest show on TV. And it's really, really good. This is uh, my living single almost in my 30s or whatever. This is my living single. This is my girlfriends or whatever. And we need more like it. And I hope Issa out here writing some more again. And she started from YouTube, y'all. Right here, YouTube. So I hope she able to bring some more of that blackest black content to HBO, to BET, um, TV One with a no HD having ass, centric, whatever. Bring something to the game because we need that and I love you. So tell me what you think of the season finale. The season was really good. It was short, but it was a really good season and it was hella great.